Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm here to show a card that I made. It's a mixed media card that I made for my mother-in-law. So I'll be popping this in the mail and to be sent off to her. Uh, she loves flowers so since it's early spring and we've had a long winter here in Canada I decided that she needed to um, have a little bit of uh, floral fun arriving in the mail. So I started with the uh, Seven Gypsies Architectures 8x8 paper pad, which I love because it has a lot of uh, different patterns in it. Some that are very feminine and some that are um, very masculine, but all um, with a certain type of grunge to them. So not super feminine, which I, which I like. Okay, so here I am cutting my first uh, sheet of pattern paper down to... Um, I believe it was five and a quarter by four and an eighth. And then I'm going to cut out this frame from this pattern paper here. And it's going to start forming the focal point for my cart. So I'm first going to um, use some clear gesso because I'm going to be doing uh, some mixed media work on here. So I wanted to make sure that it was protected. So I'm putting a layer of clear gesso over my background paper. Now that I have the uh, clear gesso on, I'm going to make sure that that is completely dry before moving on. I'm first going to take a couple of the Tattered Angel Glimmer Mists. I'm going to start with stone. I'm going to do some splatters and then a few sprays on the background before drying it. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the next Glimmer Mist, which is Tarnished Silver from Tattered Angels. This one's a bit darker, almost black. Um, so I'm going to add on a few splatters of that. No sprays for this one. And then I'm going to dry it front, back, make sure it's really dry before I go on to my next step. Okay, so my next step now is adding on some Distress Paint and I'm using a makeup sponge uh, to do that. I'm using the Bubbles uh, Layering Stencil and I first used Sponge Sugar and now I'm using Worn Lipstick. Two of my favorite pinks, one light and one slightly darker. Okay, now that that's dry, I'm going to add on some um, molding paste through the same stencil. That's the Bubbles Layering Stencil. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of the molding paste in uh, three spots on the back. And then I'm going to make sure that that's really dry before I add my stamping. This is just a script stamp that I've had for a really long time and I love using it in mixed media and in my journal. I'm using my VersaFine Black Onyx ink pad and I'm just going to uh, roll the stamp over just to add a little bit of the script stamping on there. Okay, 
so I'm going to leave my background to the side to make sure it's really dry. Now the frame that I cut out, um, I wanted to add a little bit more uh, thickness to it, so I'm just taking some matte medium and I am um, applying it to just a piece of uh, chipboard that I had. So I'm going to make sure that is stuck down really well and then I'm going to cut it out of the chipboard and that'll just give it a little bit more uh, thickness uh, before I add it to my card. So now I've got um, my frame cut out of the chipboard. Now I'm going to take some clear gesso and cover that up. I'll be adding some of the Glimmer Mist spray to that later, so I wanted to make sure the paper was uh, protected before I did that. I'm going to make sure it's really good and dry before moving on to my next step. So I'm using the flower jar stamp set and uh, coordinating dies. I'm stamping my images onto watercolor paper and then I'll be coloring them with uh, distress inks before die cutting them out and then assembling them into my focal point. So after I finished coloring in my images, I just cut them into smaller pieces and then I'm using my coordinating flower jar uh, thinlets uh, die set and using my sidekick to cut them all out. So before I adhere my background to my card base, I'm just using my uh, edge distressor and just roughing up those edges a little bit before I attach that to my card base. Now off camera I did use a brown ink pad and went around the edges of my frame just to darken them up so you didn't really see the chipboard. And now I'm adding some of the tarnished silver splatters to the frame, drying it and then I'll be attaching it to my card base. Now I'm using my little Xyron sticker maker. Um, for some of my little dies that I will be attaching to my card, this is a perfect way of adding adhesive to the entire die and especially these really tiny intricate dies, it works perfect for that. So I'm going to take these little pieces <clears throat> and attach them to my card and they will be laying across the bottom. 
And then I will attach the uh, mason jar florals onto the card. And I'm using a little bit of uh, 3D adhesive on the back of that jar so it does stand up a little bit. I made this little tag um, and I had a stamp that said mom so I just stamped it on there and then did a little bit of watercolor uh, behind the word mom just so it, it uh, wasn't stark white. It's just a little bit of the broken china distress ink that I put on there. And then I'm using some 3D foam on the back of that tag and then attaching it to the front of the card. And I'm just attaching the, uh, the jute twine that I put around the tag and put it behind the flower jar. So there you go. There's my finished card. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.